right the last of us got a new update and this is by far the biggest one so far it was like damn near 50 gb and they are like a lot of changes and improvements so let's just check it out and i hope the same problem with the shaders thingy is not existing right now if it is then i don't know what to say let's hope it's not an issue so let's just get into it so we'll, before that let me just show you that the drivers that they require is the 531.79 i am having the same driver there's no new updates for anything so this is the latest driver that they have and that's it so let's just get into the game okay so we are back in this area and again i'm doing this area because all the previous benchmark that i did and all the patch notes that i did was in this area so it is easier for comparison so we're back here and let's go to the notes the first one is like reduced shader building times i gotta say they made a little bit of changes during the shader loading stage when you open up the game after the update so there's like two indications of the main story shader building and the dlc so the main story took about like 30 minutes and the other one took another 10 minutes so it was like around 40 minutes i don't know if that's an improvement because at one point like a couple updates before the time was like 20 to 30 minutes so i don't know if this is a good improvement or not but it's better than one hour so there's that the next one is optimized code to improve global cpu performance i believe what they meant by that is like the cpu usage is more optimized and the game is like much more improved in, in terms of performance that's the only thing i get from that so let's just start counting the fps and right now the cpu usage is 95 so that's actually worse than the previous update i believe I'm not 100 percent sure but uh, i believe that's the case because it used to be below 90% in the previous update. I know that for a fact. Optimize content to improve performance across several levels. We'll see about that. Meanwhile, we play the game. I'll be having a side-by-side -side comparison while I play the game like this. So you guys can see an actual comparison. Improve level loading to help reduce the amount of please wait and loading screens i didn't have any issues with that so um, i hope it's fixed for you guys as well the next one is added a new fx density setting which adjusts the density and number of non-critical visual effects so there's a new option for that and again i'm playing this game on high with dlss on quality because it was the same settings that i used to benchmark the previous ones so it'll be easy to compare so this is the new added option here so um, if you want to play with that you can do that now so there's that the next one is greased crowd sizes on low and medium ambient character density settings and added a very low option okay so another very low option okay so this is the option that they, that they just added there's a very low, low, medium, and high, so you can see what's happening here. So at the very low, there will be like minimal amount of people on the screen at the same time. So there you go. For very low settings, you will get be you probably will get better performance. So there is that. Implemented additional scalability tuning for low and medium in-game graphic settings. So there's a lot of new graphic settings options added to the game, which is actually a nice thing. So for medium and low settings users, you guys will get better fidelity on the graphics. So that's a good thing. Reduce the VRAM impact of texture quality settings. Allowing most players to increase their texture quality settings or experience improved performance with their current settings. Okay, so, so that is a really good change because the texture quality is what makes the game look better in terms of detail so that is a great thing 
I will be playing this game on high anyways. I won't be going over high because it's gonna use more than 8 GB of VRAM. So for me, high settings is the best option. So for people with lower than 6 GB of VRAM, you guys probably will be able to play the game better now. So that's a good change. I appreciate that. Fixed to crash that would occur on boot on Windows 11. I am playing this game on Windows 10 right now, so I don't know about that. So if you guys are having that issue, just let me know in the comments. Fixed to crash that could occur on Intel Arc. And again, I'm using an NVIDIA GPU, so that doesn't affect me. So let me know if any of you are using Intel Arc GPU and is facing this, this issue, let me know. Fixed to crash that may occur when starting a new game in Left Behind. I haven't finished the game yet. I didn't get the time to finish the game yet and start the Left Behind DLC. So um, I hope that's fixed for everybody. Correct an issue where pointing the camera at the floor while aiming would cause the player and camera to visually stutter. I haven't had any snipers in the game yet. So I can't say that's an issue for me. And I can see like the game is running at 67 FPS here. In high settings with DLSS quality. Okay, let's just continue playing and uh, see if the other, the main issue with the shaders getting corrupted and making the game unplayable. Let's see if that still exists. Because that seems to be the major problem for me. If that is fixed, everything is fixed for me. So let's just skip this cutscene and see. Okay, there's no issue. Oh, hell no. Gotta be shitting me. Now I gotta do the whole deleting the shaders folder and do the whole process again just to get this shit to work again oh my god i'm getting pissed off the game didn't lag or anything so i believe it's fixed and that seems to be the biggest issue for me in the previous patch we're getting like 50 to 60 fps inside here like it's Almost the same kind of performance from the pre previous update. Fixed an issue where changing graphic settings options during gameplay wouldn't restart the player at the correct checkpoint. Uh, let's see if that's the thing. Let's try medium. Plan restart. I believe that this is a checkpoint. You're on medium settings now. Just go back to high. Plan restart. It seems good. And that seems to be it. And I just noticed the difference when you alt tab out of the screen. The game actually pauses now. Before the update, that was not the case. Before the update, if you just all tab, it just goes to the other window and then that's it. I believe. And that's about all about the changes in this game, in the new update. And so far seems to be pretty good. The major issue for me is like solved. So um, I just play the game till the end of this whole session right here for the rest of the benchmark so you guys can see the comparison side by side and yeah that'll be about it for this video well, I hope you guys enjoy enjoy this video and and I hope all the issues are fixed for you as well because for me at the moment everything seems to be fixed I mean it better because it was like a 50 GB update, so should be fixed. Keep your head down. Cover me. I'm moving up. On it.
Come on. Right behind you. So yeah, like I'll just let the game play through the rest of the video and that'll be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Subscribe for more, more videos and peace out. What are we doing? Joel, how are we gonna get out of here? All right, we're gonna go through that hall. Stay down, I don't know how many more there are. Joel, there's the end of it. I see it. <laughs>